Yay, Deleted Scenes 2018 is finally here, a little over four years too late, since this should have come out around the beginning of 2019. Oh well, given that I basically disappeared for the last five months of 2018, and for a lot of time since then, to be honest, and most of the videos that I did do were unscripted improv types of commentaries for that year, this edition of the Deleted Scenes series isn't nearly as long and comprehensive as 2017's. I'm just kind of slapping this one together and uploading it now, so whatever. Here we go. Sometimes I come up with ideas for a game before I even start playing it, if it's based on some other source material that I'm already familiar with. However, this is entirely dependent on the game featuring the right kind of cutscenes for me to mess around with. The Order of the Phoenix game never really showed the parts of the story when Harry accidentally breaks into Snape's mind during his Occlumency lesson or later when he takes a peek inside of Snape's pensieve, which I can never remember how to pronounce. So, I will be using some still shots from the movies in place of those non-existent in-game cutscenes for showing you what could have happened. Well, one idea was that I would have tried to work in something about the kind of secrets about Snape's past that Harry might have stumbled upon when he broke into Snape's mind during his final occlumency lesson. Except, I kinda had my own twist on it. Maybe Harry could have seen something else that Snape would find embarrassing if Harry saw it. Snape. Snape. Savarus Snape. 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 Savarus Snape. Or, Harry could have peered into Snape's pensieve instead, and maybe gotten to witness some memories from a secret double life Snape had been living in the past. The Saints is back for more. That's right, Bobby. It's time for another round of Professor Genki's Super Ethical Reality Climax. So far, this contestant has done pretty well, Zach. Well, this will be the toughest arena so far for the Saints Kappa. More space, more mascots, more traps. It's a beast, all right. If anyone can get through with both legs still attached, it's this contestant. I see the present, Zach. The saint is locked onto the ethical targets. Yeah. This is quickly becoming a performance for the record books. Ah, nothing can keep this contestant from those targets. We'll be talking about this round for a while. The contestant is absolutely on fire. Every shot seems Does to hit something today. Me? So, Bobby, any truth to the rumor that you used to date the one and only Shondi? <laughs> Come on, Zach. Don't tell me you've been reading the tabloids Gosh, again. Well, pocket. I wait in line the market quite a bit, so... I saw you there. Masterful duck of the question, my man. Well, it was a long time ago. I doubt she even remembers me, so I don't talk about it. You mean you really did date Chandi? One thing I can always trust on, your gullibility, Zach. Spectacular performance. Cash in pocket! Every contestant on Professor Genki should perform this well. The contestant is absolutely on fire. I see the present, Zach. Okay, here we go. And here comes the big guy. That hunter doesn't look happy. Ethical. Another wave of hunters is on the map. That's a lot of potential cash. That's what the fans pay to see. As you can see there, the target was executed perfectly.
those targets. It seems like a lot for this player. Hey, Bobby, did I ever tell you I was turned down for I Want to Sleep with Shondi? I didn't realize you were into reality shows. It's not the show I wanted to get into, Bobby. Oh, the contestant is through the exit! I know those are a couple of totally random and half-baked ideas, but yeah, those were two possibilities that could have happened if the game had given me the right cutscenes. And I don't know if either of these would have really been funny or not, particularly that gunman scene, which was footage of the game Saints Row the Third, by the way, so it's really just an attempt at a kind of non-sequitur type of funny. It's sort of hard for me to tell how funny something would have been, because presenting them like this, in the context of a deleted scenes compilation, is different than randomly seeing them pop up in the middle of a Let's Play. And I'm also not always the best at correctly assuming that something that sounds funny in my head will necessarily sound just as funny once I create it on my computer and play it back again. But it ended up not mattering that the ideas weren't potentially developed any further, because the game never provided those kinds of cutscenes for me to work with anyways. In episode 10, when Ron is following Harry while intoxicated with Love Potion, I like that the game paired this funny piece of music along with Ron's walk cycle in the current situation at that point in the plot. I had intended to draw a comparison between this and that time in the Chamber of Secrets game when we played as Harry, who had turned into Goyle via Polyjuice Potion, as there was some interestingly weird background music to go along with that part of the game as well. But for whatever reason, I completely forgot until I had finished editing and rendering episode 10 of the Half-Blood Prince, so uh, that was disappointing. I mean, that's not even really a scene all that much, just a detail I left out because I forgot it. I don't even know if stuff that would have only really been mentioned in passing should count as a deleted scene or not. And actually, none of these things in this video for 2018 really count as being deleted anyways, because I never made a conscious decision to remove them. I either just forgot to include something or couldn't make it work, given the lack of certain material to work with. So yeah, that's pretty much it. The list of deleted content for 2019 was much more interesting and numerous for what that's worth, so... Check that out, and whenever it comes out, even though it's also a few years late, and... I don't have a proper outro for this video. Fuck it. <laughs>